Hey guys, welcome back to another Mega Man X2 video. This time we're going to be going to Crystal Snail stage. This is probably my favorite stage in the game. I really like the level design, the aesthetics, the music, it's all awesome. We can pick up the helmet upgrade and another life upgrade in this stage. We don't have the boss's weak point weapon. That is the weapon we get from Magnus Centipede. But down here is the life upgrade. What you need to do is go over to the right and get this armor and fall down into this hole. And then do a dash jump. And then just tap the X button to hover. And then jump out at the last possible second and jump over and get the life upgrade. And then ride this lift back over. You have to rapidly tap the X button to hover. You can't just hold X, you have to tap it or else you won't make it. Like this. It took me forever to figure out how to get that. I didn't realize you had to tap it, I was just holding it. And up this ladder and through here, is where you would find the secret boss room. You have to take... Well, you have to go back and get that armor. I think it respawns up here, if you leave it. Yes. I think this is the only the second time you'll ever see this armor as well. This stage and he'll get his stage. And you can go over here and up there if you want to get to the secret boss room. Which I need to. I just about completely well, skipped right over it. You gotta go up to these. Up the ladder. And this X Hunter's weakness is the Silk Shot. I was seriously gonna skip right over this. This guy isn't that hard, but he is very annoying. At least I think his weakness is the Silk Shot. Only time you can hit him is when he's in the air. What are you doing? You got a shield on at all times. Unless he's jumping in the air. Like that. Come on. I'm gonna have to use the sub tank. I'm definitely gonna have to use the sub tank. Okay, sometimes you can hit him, it looks like. I don't know why, why, how I was hitting him, but... Okay, so that's our last zero part. Thankfully, when we do see him again, it's, the fight isn't like this. Not anywhere near as irritating. Are you serious? That's kind of a cheap death. And all the way back to the start. Oh well, we still have the zero part. 
I don't know if I've ever fought an Axe Hunter in this stage. This is usually one of my last stages I do, and I get the X Hunter parts as soon as possible. Or zero parts as soon as possible. Seriously, spikes right after a boss fight like that? That's cheap. Probably should have brought the armor with me. Now nah, we're alright. We'll miss out our extra life, but it doesn't really matter. And here we have a mini bias. If you use the S wheel, it looks really well. There might be something that looks even better than that, though. Another really neat thing about the Silk Shot weapon is the charged version, or actually both versions, the projectiles you see changes in every level. Look right here, you're shooting crystals. I don't know what this boss's weakness is. I think I got him. It's a massive slow down here. There's so much stuff going on at once. And here we can get going really fast. That crystal will smash you. There was a extra life, I think, up there on top. If you would have jumped this right, I could have got it. And then the helmet upgrade is down this pit. Past all these laser shooting crystals. Whatever those things are supposed to be. I think that's our last armor upgrade. This is pretty much a useless upgrade. All it does is show, like, hidden walls and hidden secrets. It gives you a weapon you can use. The actual helmet looks pretty neat, though. I like the armor style in X2. And the weapon energy never goes down. You can use it as much as you want. Because right there, it's indicating there is a hidden passage to the ceiling here. That we can get an extra life at. And up here is one of those hidden areas where you can use the silk shot, charge shot, to bring in weapon energy. At other spots, you can draw in life energy. That would have been more useful there. Up here, you got to trigger the crystal and then race it down. The entire time dealing with these bats. And do the same thing right here. And then it's time to fight the boss. Like I said, I don't have his weak point weapon, so we'll probably end up going through sub tanks. And it's a shame I don't have his weak point weapon because it's got a really cool mechanic where you can knock him out of his shell if you use it. Those crystal shots, and oh, I got hit, will freeze you, and then he attempts to ram you. What you need to do is just hammer on the directional buttons until you break free. Aw, oh, come on. You can also rock it around like that. He's got a... He's got an attack where he can slow down time as well. If 
you get frozen when the time is slowed down, it's almost impossible to break through in time. He's gonna do it here. No? Yeah, here's where he's gonna do it. He still moves at regular speed, but you move really slow. It's really hard to avoid those attacks. Seems like he's taking extra damage from regular Buster attacks as well. Wasn't too bad, really. I collected these a couple sub tanks there, or at least one. So with his weapon, it gives you that crystal shot where you can freeze enemies, which is going to be necessary to get a few hidden items. Now we get a cutscene where we deliver Zero's parts. Okay, before I end this episode, we're gonna go back and pick up some hidden items. Um, I got everything down there. get a life upgrade from this stage. And it's just right here at the beginning. What we need to do is freeze this guy. Get on top and then dash across to the ceiling. Get an extra life. And the life upgrade. So there should only be one more upgrade we need to collect. And our sub tank. And then we should have everything. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. I will see you guys next time.